Hello there, unfortunate audience. My name is Oltario. Welcome back to Half-Life 2. This is the fourth time I'm recording this, and for very for various different reasons. But the reason this time is because I was I got a little bit angry the last time I recorded this, and well, I basically ignored everything that happened here. Basically, this entire first section. And last time we drove up here, we dealt with a bunch of stuff, and now we're here, we can get rid of the car, and we're gonna get to Sand Trap. Sand Trap starts over there, really, but this is where this chapter says it starts. Every time he says that, I'm already here. Okay, Doc, you'll have to go on foot from here. There's a secret path along the cliffside, but no one's going anywhere until we fight off this attack. Having you here to fight alongside us is going to make a big difference for morale. Crap. Here come the dropships. All right, survival guide. Ulterior oh, survival guide for playing this part of the game. Number one, ignore everything that guy just said and st head straight to the lighthouse. Straight to the lighthouse. Why? Don't ask me questions. Don't question my intelligence, you pitiful swine. Just head for the lighthouse, all right? Just head for the lighthouse. Go inside. Grab this. Go back upstairs and just leave everyone to die because what happened the last couple times I was fighting down there on the ground was a problem that I remembered only having like a long time ago because I usually skip this part of the game I hate this part of the game every time I play this game this is the only part I continue I like um like I always skip this part and it's because I just hate this section it puts you in a boring area you gotta defend it I hate defense areas like this it, they're really boring. I don't like being stuck in an area waiting for something to happen. And that's exactly what this area is. So for the most part, the best thing to do is just like stay here. And like fighting down there, all the NPCs are going to get in your way. They block your shots. I've counted like five different times I was walking to the left to dodge an enemy attack. And there was an NPC right next to me shooting at them. And I died because of them. It was just, it's just annoying. It's pointless. Don't even bother. Meanwhile, staying up here in the lighthouse gives you the advantage of just waiting for the enemies to come to you. You don't gotta look for the enemies. The enemies will all come funnel to you, funneling to you. So yeah, it makes it way easier to actually play the section of the game. Just sit here in a corner. Now, is this considered camping? Yes. Is it pitiful? Yes. But is it better than actually playing the section? Yes. Yes, it is. Anything is play better than playing the section. I will play the Sonic Adventure 2 mini hunt, uh, emerald hunting sections rather than this i'd rather replay klonoa 2 than this section i really would rather klonoa 2 is just boring as hell this is actively infuriating <laughs> which is a completely different beast boy i love playing half-life 2 oh come on come on nine 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 come by <laughs> Let's combine, combine. Oh, they're not even up here. Ah, finally, this section. All right, so now we have a combine gunship, and we ought to take it down with rockets. Now, you hear this from the NPCs if you were, like, playing the game intentionally. You'd hear this from an NPC, and an NPC would be like, it's a combine gunship, we got to take it down. Freeman, there's rockets in the lighthouse. But if you're already a god like me, then you could just kind of ignore the NPCs. Oh, that totally hit you, you fucking baby! Oh my god! You make up shit all the time! There you go, now you're dead. Anyways, we're done here. That was the entire section. Take this medkit. Yeah, someone's gonna try to give you a medkit over here. Hold up. What? Wait, Dr. Freeman. We'll take the cliff path before another gunship finds us. Cool. Come. Now we can finally move on with the game. This section, honestly, every time I just skip it. It takes too long. Not any, Nothing important happens. It's not even fun to do like other sections similar to this. It's just boring and takes too long. And watch your step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just continue the cutscene, asshole. Oh, I still hate you. But yeah, now we're at the cliffside. We don't have to deal with combine anymore. At least, nothing that we can see. There's still combine above us, don't get us wrong. But like, what are they gonna do, kill us? They're all the way up there and we're all the way down here. So yeah, even if you do play the section, more combine just come anyways. It's a complete another waste of time. Nothing here matters. 
It's so pointless. Oh my god, I hate Valve. Anyways, the point is, we're done with that section, and we never have to play it again. <sighs> so let's move on to the actual part of Sand Traps at Sand Traps. Someone's coming. You there! Stop where you are! Stay on the rocks! Don't step on the sand, it makes the antlions crazy! Laszlo, don't move! No. Help! <laughs> Dear God! Poor Laszlo! The finest mind of his generation! To come to such an end! We were heading for the Vortigaunt camp, hoping to pick up some bug baits so these damn things would leave us alone. But without Laszlo, what's the point? I know you tried to help. I'll stay with him a while. There's something I have to do. Go ahead. I hope you have better luck than we had. Oh, yeah. Poor Laszlo. Man. Stay off the sand. The ant lions are edgy right now. Thanks. That was Laszlo. He is dead. He's never mentioned ever again in this entire game. <laughs> so, <laughs> who, who fucking knows? <laughs> but, um, this is the actual part of Sand Traps, with, um, actually the good part of Sand Traps. And we gotta avoid the rocks. It makes for an interesting... I'm, rocks, I mean sand. Makes for an interesting challenge. We gotta somehow find a way to make it all the way towards the Vortigaunt camp to get... Um, what was it? Bug bait so that the antlions will leave us alone because it's mating season. And, you know, interesting challenge, interesting premise. It doesn't make you wait in a stupid lighthouse for five hours or die going outside to fight the combine. So, you know, actually good game design. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I don't hate that section that much, but still, it's just... I never like playing it. And I always play this section. Because this section's good and that section's not. Oh, you're both a bunch of pussies. Get on the fucking box. Why do you refuse? Why do you refuse? For what purpose? For what purpose? And here we have a bit of creative platforming. We can't... Oh my god, Val, why? <laughs> we can't make it across this pit on our own. We need the help of, say, a giant wooden plank that comes out of nowhere. And we can now make our way through here. Would you look at that? Nice platforming. Good game design. Whoa! It's almost like we didn't just play the worst fucking section. I'm, j I'm joking. I I'm done messing around with that part now. But if you want, you can actually like put this anywhere. Literally anywhere. We could just climb up here. And make it to the roof. And if we need to make it over there, we can just put this down. And then... Finesse our way to putting it up there. That is the <laughs> That should not work. That is the flimsiest fucking thing. I don't even know what this is. What is this doing on top of a shed? Ugh, who cares? But like this entire area you can use the board and I like the section because the environment around you is the solution to your puzzle. That's the kind of stuff in half like I like to see. Like? Half like? Oh whatever. That's the kind of stuff in half life I like to see. And now we never need to use this board again. Thank you for your service. You were not important. Ow! Fuck! What is your problem? Stupid freaking... <laughs> There's a mattress here. Wanna bang the mattress? Yeah. I didn't think so. Ow, fuck. I tell you, officer. That that shelf just attacked me. Yeah, I'm sure it did. <laughs> sure it did, mate. Sure it did. You can jump this gap. Boom. And now, remember to do this. Alright? Remember... So, before you do anything, go to this generator and turn it on. Why? Because if you don't turn it on, you won't be able to pass the next section without getting hurt. Anyways, inside here we have some ammo, some armor batteries. Can I get a health packet? No? Okay, whatever. I don't want to be maxed out anyways. And now, we do what any self-righteous adventurer would do when faced with a large stretch of very dangerous land is, and just run. Because we got a thumper, baby! And we learned earlier how these ant lions don't like these thumpers. Yeah. Don't like the thumpers, do ya? They make you angry, don't ya? The thumpers, they thump a lot. Well, I like the way they explode. Not a lot of enemies in Half-Life 2 explode anymore, so seeing enemies that just sometimes explode for no reason is my favorite thing. That's that's the thing I missed about the original game. You shotgun a guard correctly, like a freaking military dude correctly, he blows up to thousands of tiny bits. And this one, it doesn't happen, man. I noticed it didn't do more anything, but still. Anyways, now we meet a very dangerous enemy. This, ladies and gentlemen, is an ant lion guard. 
a, ve a much tougher version of the ant lions. In fact, so tough that two explosive barrels won't take it out. It will daze it. It will daze it though. It will definitely daze it. Fuck! And it just chases us throughout this entire area. It's very dangerous. Has a lot of health, but we can kill it with the right timing. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, no, no. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You idiot. I have you right where I want you. Yep, he's dead. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. It's perfect. Because now this cutscene plays quicker. Freeman will do wise to heed our expression of the Myrmidon's aromatic pheropods. The process is not entirely hygienic. Therefore, stand aside. Freeman will have need of these pheropods on the paths ahead. Gather them now. But yeah, that cutscene plays quicker if you're right next here. Because, like, then you'll have to walk towards the corpse, but if you kill him right here, that doesn't have to happen. So now we got the bug bait, or feral pods, as he likes to cut, call it. Yeah, keep going. Oh, hey, guys! Friends? Freeman must excuse us. It is rude of us to commune by flux shifting in front of those whose vortal inputs are impaired. Yes, we will vocalize in your auditory language as a matter of courtesy. Unless we wish to say unflattering things about you. Just so. Dicks. <laughs> so they're talking behind my back. Well, guess what, motherfucker? I came back. If I can beat you with a crowbar, I can definitely beat you with a rocket launcher, motherfucker. You wanna fucking try me? <laughs> I just went through the most boring section of the game. I'm not dealing with their bullshit. Anyways, how you doing, mate? Not good. These people are hurt. They must have been in the lighthouse section. All right, I'm serious. I'll stop ripping on it now. We can just go. We can just go now. I'll stop making fun of it. Get going, Dr. Freeman. Nova Prospect is just ahead. One man alone wouldn't stand much chance going in there. But a man with a pack of ant lions, well, that's a different story. Oh, yeah, it is. It's a much cooler story. The Freeman honors us by his presence. Follow Freeman. Follow Freeman, then why am I following you if I'm for you know you confused me, man. Ah my knees! It's worth it, I didn't have to go for stairs. Freeman will now be instructed in the use of therapods. Attend now and learn to shepherd ant lions with the so-called bug bait. Yeah. The Freeman will now break out his therapod and toss one into yonder pit. The Freeman has done well. The free man can also coax his lions to attack specific targets. Observe the training mannequin and mark it well with another pheromone. Get fucked, combine! The free man again excels in all tasks. I'm just that good, baby. I'm just that good. This is the most pitiful barricade I've ever seen in my life. Literally pitiful. Now, attend well. Apply pressure to your pheromone to signal the lions in your command to follow you. Over here. I'm yeah. I'm. J I have a PhD. Of course I did. Remember well what you have learned here. The Eli Vance has greatest confidence in you. Who's Eli again? Oh well. Guess we'll think about that another time. But yeah, now we have ant lions as friends. They weren't really much of a danger before, but now what turned into a sand trap is now a sand help. It's not even a good pun. I've come up with better puns. I'm not gonna say where. I'm not gonna say where. I'm not gonna say where. <laughs> in purgatory, goddammit. Oh, uh, that was supposed to be one episode and it turned into a goddamn movie. <laughs> But yeah, now we are the ant lion god. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Wait, no. My fair pot brings all the boys to the yard. And they're like, Yarrr! I said, do the thing. Ah -ha! Yeah, yeah, brother, let's go. But um, you know how those stumpers and we turned them all off because they were bad for us? Well, <sighs> ignore what I said. The thumpers are now... Uh, wait, did I say they were bad for us? Um, no. Uh, t turn them off, because now they're bad for us. Someone's talking about someone breaking into Noah's Prospect. I wonder who that could be. But anyways, this entire field is covered with these things, and we gotta help our little ant lion friends kick the shit out of the combine, because these combine, 
they're crafty. They've come up with weapons and guns that can kill us, which is really bad for our health. Not gonna lie. You bitch, who, who just threw a grenade at me? I killed them both. That's how good I am. By the way, this is my favorite song in the entire game, and it only plays in this one section and only for like five minutes. It sucks. I hate Valve so much. But yeah, it's a really good song. And I'm so sad that Valve, when making this- But yeah, it's a really good song. And I'm so sad that Valve, when making this song, said, Let's put it here, and then never play it again. Why put all that ad time and effort into making this great song, and then just never play it? I'm so pissed off. This is like the best part of Half-Life, is the music. Half-Life 2 has really good music, but not only did Valve fuck up on the sliders, so you can't even make the music louder and the sound effect lower, they don't even play it well! <laughs> Guys, swear to God! <laughs> Ahead of their time, my ass! They can't get sliders right! But now this comes the most difficult section, as now we gotta deal with all these combine whopping. This is like Normandy, alright? We are the Americans invading Germany right now. They've got turrets, and we don't, which is really bad for our health. So I'm trying to send the Atlines to attack them so they can get rid of their stupid freaking turret system, but it seems like they're a little bit slow, so we'll just help them out a little bit by coming around here. Sorry, I can't have you, like, killing us real quick. But now we can- oh my god. I thought I had an ult, I thought I had an ult, I thought I had an ult, oh fuck. Atlines would be really useful right now. Thank you, Atlines! You are godly! Anyone home? Man, you all died to one man. <laughs> they're not even good. They're they're like, God damn, was it this easy for the Americans? I like you, but you're in my way. Ah, oh, it's still satisfying. Mmm, the Gibbs, baby, give me the Gibbs. Anyways, now we come to a dark interior. Ooh, atmospheric, and there's fucking these starter fuckers again. I don't think that that's just it. There you go. Get rid of them all. This section isn't actually too difficult, there's a lot of explosives here though, and like 9 items out of 10, I somehow tripped the explosives without realizing it also. Did I ever- I never found this, did I? Huh. Holy shit, I've never found this area in my entire life. Actually, no, I did find it because I would have gotten the achievement if I didn't. What the fuck is this here? That was a tiny little area here, and now we come up to the upper half of this. And there's still more combine because there, there's just so many combine here, man. I get it. Like this is a prison. They gotta protect their stuff. But like, goddamn, man. I hate you. I hate you. And I hate you. I just hate all of you, really. I fucking nailed that. That is the first time I've ever used a crossbow successfully, <laughs> and probably the last time. Am <laughs> I right? Aim is shitty. <laughs> Oh, great. Now we get to be the ones on Normandy Beach. What do I mean by that? Well, a bunch of them are coming down, and there's a turret up here. Motherfucker, how did you even flip yourself around? Don't follow me. Kill them. But yeah, we're the Normandy bitches. Oh, what is that? Looks like a bunch of stupid American out in the distance. Oh, we'll have to fix that. Oh, what's wrong? Sorry, puny Americans. What is wrong? Oh, you can't get your dear puny turrets. Oh, how sad. How sad. The Americans can't get to their turrets. Oh, boo hoo. Morgan Smire. You can't reach the turrets. I can barely see them when I'm killing them. Fucking dumbass. Anyways, now that's all of them. Now we can move onwards. I'll end off the episode when we enter Nova Prospect. How do, when will we enter Nova Prospect? Really soon, we're actually almost there. We just gotta climb this cliff base. Because Nova Prospect, I actually love the design of this area. We are on a sheer cliff, and Nova Prospect is this giant building on it in the middle of the coastal area. It's beautiful. But anyways, now we gotta climb that sheer cliff, and the only way we're gonna do that is by dealing with a few zombies. Oh my god! I want to They always complain. They always complain. Every single time. Anyways, this area has a lot more combine in it too. I like using the pistol against the combine. It's actually surprisingly accurate in this game. Not as accurate as in the first- actually, I lied, we do have to go this direction, but not as accurate as the first game, but 
Definitely more accurate than the SMG sometimes. And it wastes a lot less ammo too. Actually, it is more accurate than the SMG. Huh. True for both games then. You got a few ammo crates here. Well, these crates can either contain ammo or health. It depends on what you have more of. If you have more ammo, then it'll give you health. If you have more health, it'll give you ammo. I like that sort of stuff. Anyways, we don't want to go up here. We want our friends to go up here. Why? Because there's actually combine already waiting for us here. And if we just go up here... Yeah, look at that. They just threw a grenade. Assholes. We'll just let the combine deal with our friends instead of, the com um, instead of us. Because... Look at that! We just escaped conversation! Can I please go up the sledge? Someone is shooting at me. I'm 90% sure it's the combine, but I won't see him. Oh, right! You fucking exist! I don't know why Valve put that one fast zombie in the sewer. There are not- there's like no zombies in this area. I don't fucking understand why they put it in here, but whatever. Now, we enter. Come on, see. Put the words up. Oh, come on, you're gonna make me walk all the way over there to Nova Prospect? Oh, whatever. We're in Nova Prospect, it's good enough. This is Nova Prospect. Looks like someone's searching for us. And, um, we'll continue this invasion of a giant prison next time. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, next time, we'll break into Nova Prospect, save Eli Vance, and have a happily ever after with no lighthouses. Alright, I swear, I am done making fun of that stupid section. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!